Welcome back. This is Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. So this is going to be one of my last videos that I'm going to film for a little bit of while. Um, but before we get into all that, I just want to show you guys first all my uh, fish tanks that I've got set up for the time being. Now, you remember this little tank right here that I had set up? Um, this little, I believe it's a four or five gallon, maybe three gallon. But uh, this one was like a little quarantine tank. Well, I decided to make it Pebbles the better a permanent home. Well, yeah, per permanent home tank. Um, I was going to set him up in the uh, little five gallon shrimp tank, but the shrimp was so small when I got him. I was afraid that uh, Mr. Pebbles here was going to uh, eat all my uh, shrimp before they even had a good chance. Uh, I got some wild shrimp and I think what's going to happen in time is those wild shrimp become too many in my five gallon tank. I will take some and put them in here and try pebbles out with them. Pebbles fins have healed up quite well. Uh, I did use some Millifix and it seemed to actually, uh, honestly, to uh, help heal his fins up uh, even e even faster. So uh, big ups to uh, Millifix for uh, actually uh, helping to heal uh, the uh, 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 his fins. Uh, API got an off-brand product at Walmart uh, that's just like Millifix that you can use if you don't have a pet co or don't want to spend extra money you can buy that off-brand product there uh, at Walmart um, that is uh, made from API and that's what I use uh, in order to heal up uh, pebbles um, fins so anyway this is this little tank here I've got some Java moss in it uh, I got three large ram's horn snails in it uh, some crypts uh, that's in it it's a little bit of guppy grass of course it's heated by a, a nice heater there aquarium co-op heater and I've got uh, uh, a sponge filter from aquarium co-op uh, that I'm running in this tank and of course I made my own lights and I made my own top uh, for this uh, awesome little bevel, uh, better tank and so when I come back which will be a little while um, I'm going to uh, show the progression of this tank okay so let's move on now we're going to move on here to the of course my 120 oops sorry about that my 127 gallon uh, pride and joy tank uh, which has a mixture of Lake Tanganyika uh, cichlids. Um, I have, of course, uh, Julius chromas in here, white calvis in here. I got a black calvis in here, rainbow fish, simple chromas, Harley Quinn, Rasbora, brilliant Rasboras. I uh, got a Bacardi in here. I got a Liupi in here. I also have a mix of uh, sword plants in here. I got some Java malts and multifasciatus and some Pendageras. And so, and they're right, snails and MTS snails are very full, a very compact 127 gallon or 125 gallon acrylic tank, uh, which I made the acrylic tops for and all that. Uh, talking about men fin, uh, I still give men fin a B plus. It seemed like it had knocked back the flukes, but it did not completely uh, eradicate flukes. What I did find was another product called Prazi Power, which is Prazi Quanto. Uh, which is which did really a good job and actually I believe eliminating uh, flukes uh, just about completely out of my tank I it's just a really good 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 product so you might want to pick some of that up if you got uh, flukes or some other kind of parasites uh, uh, in your uh, tank uh, now it won't eradicate it but it will definitely get the uh, flukes in, in whatever other parasites that Prezi Quattro, uh will treat and so that's my little pride and joy tank and so that's my 127 gallon. And I told myself I'm gonna go set up three tanks, but hey, you know, <laughs> sometimes it, it calls for that. Um, but anyway, this is my other tank, my uh, uh, shrimp tank. And this has my um, uh, wild shrimp in it, which you can't see because they're brown and some of them are, are light colored and some of them are actually a dark blue. Uh, but in this tank here, I have, um, as you can probably see a little shrimp there. But I have a um, uh, uh, neocardina shrimp in it, uh, several of them. I've got ram's horn snails, and I've got some small, which they're not showing their face right now, about four small pygmy uh, cory catfish in here, which are excellent companions for uh, shrimp. And so um, I can order them from Akahuna. They, of course, uh, two of them died on, on, on dead on arrival. No problems with Akahuna. You show them the picture, put it on a paper towel, they refund you back your money. Love that place to order, uh, the, you know, your, your coming regular aquarium fish from Akahuna. Of course, like I said before, I customize all my stuff and, and uh, 
course I made the lid and, and the lights and all that kind of stuff and so there's that little tank there doing great with many different plants filtration and of course the uh, heater so really like that little tank okay now let's journey back to me hopefully that got on camera pretty good you know how it goes folks Ugh. I've never been the master of having the <laughs> best camera quality kind of like stuff so this is of course going to be a little bit of a longer video and uh, I must admit that I have enjoyed uh, this journey uh, that uh, some of you have uh, journeyed with me on this wonderful adventure on Marcus from Aquarium Hacks. Um, actually, I wasn't going to even start making a lot of videos. Uh, my first video, I think, was um, the Emperor 400 hack that I hacked out and made into an awesome uh, filter. And I did use that for a very long time till I sold the whole setup with it. And so, uh, you know, um, I have done so many hacks in my life. Um, the only thing that I regret is that I didn't start sooner filming this stuff. I mean, I've done so many different kind of hacks, making filters, uh, making uh, decorations for your aquarium, uh, rebuilding uh, aquariums, fixing aquariums, um, uh, glass aquariums, fixing acrylic aquariums, rebuilding acrylic aquariums, um, glass aquariums that don't have a middle brace, uh, buying sheets of glass and making that middle brace, you know, with silicone and stuff like that. Uh, learning so many things about uh, the, the fish hobby, bred so many different kinds of species of fish, uh, everything from geophagus to uh, African cichlids, uh, which, uh, you know, and uh, severons, angelfish, uh, fire mounts, um, just uh, uh, doing all those kind of things uh, has that I didn't have not got a chance to put on video. Um, and also experiment with different kind of things such as how long will a nearite snail simple right but how long could a nearite snail stay out of water come to find out my nearite snail was out of water for up to maybe four days or so four or five days and I grabbed him put him back in water and he you know about two or three hours later he came back out so you know just stuff like that things I learned about because uh, you know this of course concerns Lake Tanganyika about the Julius Chromis. Some people say that Julius Chromis, once you move them to a different tank, they break the bond, the male and female. Found that out to be false. Um, I moved them into this tank uh, with their same rocks, even though it was not set up the same. But the male and female, as long as they had their same rocks, um, you know, although not set up the same, as long as they had that rock, they went right back to those rocks, and uh, they they are right there uh, they have bonded and they have not broke broke their bonds so I found that out not to be true I found out that rainbow fish are excellent to, companions to most cichlids of course we already know that some of us do and uh, you know and so I really enjoyed uh, doing all those kind of things um, but there was just so much that I did not put on video uh, there's a lot of great youtubers out there King of DIY Joey I love the way how he you know makes his stuff um, and I love the way how he doesn't just promote you know just one product but he's like you know go to Amazon or Walmart or whatever you know get your money's worth you don't have to buy these expensive products from other places uh, you can actually uh, do quite well if you can find a good deal and what a quality product um, you know, it's Corey uh, from Corey, uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op and, and his team. Uh, there's D, I think it's DFW Darius. You know, uh, Marcus Mogabuna, which he stopped making videos. Um, there's just so many wonderful aquarium videos that are on YouTube, and that's great. But what's even more interesting is there are so many Aquarius that are not on YouTube. Um, that have done some awesome things that have not been even thought of or never even shown and these guys are really good at what they do but they choose not to be on YouTube they choose not to let all their secrets out <laughs> um, my wife encouraged me 
to let some of my uh, secrets out and let people know about some of the things that I have experienced. Uh, but like I said, my only regret is that I didn't start sooner or I didn't film everything that I've done in this aquarium hobby. Of course, back then that we didn't have, you know, great sources of uh, cameras and stuff like that that you could film on uh, at that time. But uh, uh, yeah, I've done so many different things an aquarium hobby everything from building wood stands to uh, building these uh, cinder block stands and um, making tops and glasses and uh, all kinds of stuff um, it's just been a great journey I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed uh, showing you guys some of these hacks some of these little tricks um, that I have done I'm sorry that I have not been able to show everything that I've done in this aquarium hobby uh, it would probably be up to 500 videos or something um, and so, um, it's just been really great. It's been a really fun hobby. And uh, I will be back. It will, you know, it'll be some time before I come back uh, and start shooting some videos. Now, what I might do, because I got some videos that I have shot out there or, 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 that I, or that I have that I simply have not posted on YouTube. Uh, you know, these are just videos that I made and I just said, nah, they're not YouTube you know they're not good YouTube videos so I'm not going to post them so I don't know if I post those videos or not I might post them in the meantime uh, but as of now uh, officially this is one of my last videos that I'm going to uh, be making for a while I just got some things that I've got to take care of in my life and so uh, hopefully you have the ones who have you know watched my videos hopefully you have learned some things from it uh, hopefully that uh, you learn about some different kind of products um, that you can get. Hopefully that uh, you learn that uh, this aquarium hobby uh, is not that complicated. Of course, it can be complicated uh, according to what you're keeping. And I hope that you keep on finding different hacks to uh, uh, improve your aquarium. Um, it'll be uh, some time before I'm able to make another video i really appreciate all my subscribers and all the people who have supported uh these videos uh throughout uh the time that i've been here on youtube uh, i will be back uh, it'll be a little bit of time before i am able to come back but uh, i have really enjoyed the journey um you know just uh keep on hacking keep on hacking out ways on how you can do your aquariums and how you can do your filters and your heaters and and all kinds of stuff like that uh, learn from it uh, this is a great hobby with a lot of different kind of ways of doing things many many different kind of ways and so um, yeah just enjoy the ride and enjoy the hobby hey this is aquarium hacks by Marcus and hey until next time keep on hacking